हाई एवरी वन माई नेम इज रवि प्रकाश एंड वेलकम टू दी फर्स्ट क्लास ऑफ एवरेजेस ओके तो स्टार्टिंग एवरेज एवरेज टूडे वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द एग्जामिनेशन द क्वेश्चन ऑन एवरेजेस आर देयर इट्स एन ईजी टॉपिक बट इन इन्वॉल्व गुड अमाउंट ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट राइट सो हैव टू डिस्कस दोज कॉन्सेप्ट ओके सो स्टार्ट राइट फ्रॉम बेसिक लेवल एंड विल अगेन गो टू द हाइएस्ट लेवल ओके सो एवरेजेस सी Now, by formula we know it is average, right? Average is we know it is sum upon number of quantities. Sum upon number of quantities, right? It is sum upon number of quantities is averages. So, like if you have to calculate average of what is the average of seventeen plus twelve plus. Uh, Plus sign will not not right here. What is the average of seventeen, twelve, ten? Let's say twenty. You can get it easily right. Seventeen plus twelve. Seventeen plus twelve plus ten plus twenty. There are four numbers here. Sum divided by four. Okay. So twenty nine, thirty nine, fifty nine. So fifty nine by four it is. Fifty nine by four. So fifty nine half is. Twenty nine point five, twenty nine point five half is what? Fourteen point seven five is the average. Correct. But the special case of average when the when when the numbers are in AP, when the numbers are in AP. So when the numbers are in AP, right? For example, I have to find average of one, three, five. Seven and nine. So if you'll find if you sum it up, one plus three plus five plus seven plus nine divided by five. There are five quantities here. You see the average is five only, right? So why this average is five? Because see, when numbers are in AP, one, three, five, seven, nine. What is AP? AP is a series, right? AP is a series where what is AP? Arithmetic progression. Okay. So like a a plus d a plus two d, right? So difference between any two consecutive terms is same, right? Like a to a plus d, d is added. Here also d is added. Here also d is added, right? So difference between any two consecutive terms is same. That is d here. That is AP. So here also it is AP because difference of two two here. Difference between any two consecutive terms is two. This is AP. Okay, and it is always like increasing or decreasing order. Always in increasing or decreasing order, right? So Um. So one three five seven nine. So this is AP. So in AP, you can write it in AP. That is when numbers are in AP. Average is, average is always the middle term. Okay, and middle term is calculated calculated by first term plus last term divided by two. Okay. Now we'll discuss in next slide. This funda. What I wrote was when numbers are in AP. When numbers are in arithmetic progression, that is AP, average is equal to the middle term of AP, which is calculated calculated by first term plus last term, first term plus last term by So, like suppose in this case the numbers are one, three, five, seven, nine. So, what is the average? So, since the numbers are in AP, since the series is in AP, okay, average middle term, first term plus last term by two, simply nine plus one, nine plus one, ten by two, that is five. So, average is what? Average is five. Okay, any number. Like suppose, what is the average of three, six, nine? Twelve, just written till ninety. What is the average? So I can see that this series is in AP, like three to six. Again, difference plus three, difference plus three, difference plus three, right? So this series is in AP. So what is the average? First term plus last term by two, simply. That is three plus ninety by two. That is forty six point five. So average of the series is forty six point five, right? Now it is not right. This so average. Average, if we find, may or may or 
may not be may or may not be a part of the series average may or may not be a part of the series okay so average may or may not be a part of the series right like here 3 6 9 12 this is all are multiple of 3 okay so in this case what what we got the average it is 46.5 we got the average as 46.5 which is not a part of the series right 46.5 won't occur in the series, right? Because all these numbers are what? They are multiple of 3. So near to 46.5, like 45, then 48, right? These terms will go. 46.5 will not be a part of the series. Because in which case it will not be a part of the series? When there are even number of terms. Okay. When there are even number of terms. So like for when there are even number of terms, like what is the average of 2, 4, 6, and 8? What is their average? So their average is first term plus last since it is in AP since it is in AP so so you can see difference of 2 2 here so 2 plus 8 by 2 that is 5 this is not a part of this part of the series right because because number of terms are even so number of terms are even so average will not be a part of series right when number of terms are odd like 1 3 5 7 9 okay so in this series what is the average the average what the average is 5 it is the part of the series where 5 is the part of the series, right? Number of terms are odd. So number of terms are odd. So average will be a part of the series. When it is even, it will not be a part of the series, right? It's just the average of the, average of the two middle terms. Like for here, 2, 4, 6, 8. So 4 and 6 are the, are the two middle terms. So their average what? Their average is 5. Okay, there also. In last slide, we did 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 till 90. Their average. So average the two middle terms, right? So like first this is three into one, this is three into two, and this is three into thirty. So one, two, thirty, right? There are thirty terms here. So what is the middle term? So what is the middle term? So middle term is what? You can see. You can sense it okay. For right, right first term is one and last term is thirty. So first term plus last term by two. So treat like this as 1 for time being and treat this as 30. So it's not 1 and 30, but treat like for finding number of terms. So 1 plus 30 by 2, 15.5. That means T 15.5. So whenever for terms you are calculating in mind, you can, because it is AP, you can mind, you can do it. Okay. That T1, first term is T1, last term is T30. What is the average? 1 plus 30 by 2, 15.5. So T 15.5. What is T 15.5? average of 15th and 16th term. What is 15th term here? 15th term is 3 into 15. That is 45. What is 16th term here? 3 into 16. That is 48. What is our average? 45 plus 48 by 2. That is 46.5. And that's what we got by first term plus last term by 2. 3 plus 90 by 2. That is 46.5. So both are same thing. Right. So that's why in any, so better not to remember by terms of even or, even or odd. Sub simply in any series in AP, what is our average? First term plus last term by 2. First term plus last term by 2. Okay. Okay. Now, let's do an example here. See, for example, um, we do example of in this uh, AP series we are taking here. Okay. So, let's take an example here. Average of 7 consecutive even integers is 36. So, I can just sense it here, right? 7 consecutive even integers. That means this series is in AP. Right, even integers like always like even integers always have a gap of two two right. So if one term is like if one term is for even integers like suppose one term is a plus two, other term will be a plus four, other term will be a plus six right. All these are with a gap of two two. So this is an AP. Right. So average of seven consecutive even term integers is AP. So you can think there okay there are seven consecutive integers, right? What is the average of an AP? So average of an AP is a middle term. That basically means that middle term, middle term of this series is 36. In AP, average is a middle term. So middle term of the series is what? It is 36. So if middle term is now 36, so it is a middle term is now 36. So there are seven terms here, right? Seven consecutive integers. So like from T1 to T7. There are seven terms. So just think in your mind, which is a middle term? 
I can see what is the middle term. Middle term is T4. That is that can be calculated. Calculated in mind also. First term is T1. Last term is T. Last term is T7. So for the time being, take T1 as one. T7 as seven. What is the middle term? One plus seven. Eight by two four. That is T4. So T4 is the middle term. Okay. So that means T4 is given as thirty six. And since it is consecutive even integers. Okay. So that I don't know, right? Which is the which is the first and last, second and uh, fifth term here? Right? That I don't know here because it is an increasing series or decreasing series. So for the timing, so I can write this whole series, right? Right. So I can write average seven consecutive even integers thirty six. Product of second and fifth term and write this series is in ascending order. Let's say this is given that it is in ascending order. Okay. That means what is series now? So T four is thirty six. What is T five? Thirty eight. What is T six? Forty. What is T seven? Forty two. What is T three? Thirty four. What is T two? Thirty two. What is T one? Thirty. That's it, right? So we got all these uh, all the terms, right? So I need product of T two and T five. So T two is thirty two, and T five is thirty eight. So thirty two into thirty eight. You can solve and get the answer. The answer will be one to one six. Like this is funda, right? So average of seven consecutive even integers is thirty six. That means the middle term will be thirty six. Okay, and is there seven in integers? So middle term is the fourth term. Middle term is the fourth term. Now, question can be anything, right? Find product product of second or fifth or third and seventh, right? That is okay. But we need to we need to find the series, right? And just trying to explain the concept of how to find the series here. Now you can sense one thing here. Average of twelve consecutive odd integers is thirty. There are all consecutive odd integers, okay, in ascending order. Let's say it is in ascending order. In ascending order. So average of twelve consecutive odd integers is thirty. Okay, thirty is an even number, not an odd number. So now you can sense the funda why, because there are even number of terms here. So when you calculate the average of even number of terms in AP. The average that is a middle term will not be the part of the series, right? In even number of terms, middle term is not the part of the series, right? Because t one to t twelve, okay. So it's like t one to t twelve. So t one to t twelve. What is the middle term? So middle term is what? One plus twelve by two. One plus twelve by two is what? Six point five. So t six point five is the middle term. So t six point five is nothing but the average of t six and t seven. Average of t six and t seven, okay. That means t six point five, term six point five. That is the average of t six and t seven is given as thirty. Is given as thirty, correct? What is t six then? What is t six? So now t six and t seven are what? They are two consecutive odd integers. That means t six will be what? Twenty nine. What is t seven? Thirty one. That's it. This is what we need to do. Understand this funda, right? So average will be the middle term when the number of terms are even. Average will not be the part of the series. That is the middle term when it is in AP. It is not the part of the series, right? So it's very important. Twenty nine, thirty, and thirty one. Okay, so average of the series is thirty. That's okay. That means t six point five term six point five. What is term six point five? Average of sixth and seventh term is thirty. Okay, so I can get. Six term as twenty nine and seven term is thirty one as there are consecutive uh, odd integers in ascending order. It has to be twenty nine and thirty one. Then average will be thirty. Now you get the whole series here, right? You get the whole series now. T one, T two, T three, T four, T five, right? T six, T seven till T twelve. Well, T six you got as twenty nine. T seven is thirty one. T five is twenty seven. T four is twenty five. T three is twenty three, T two is twenty one, T one is nineteen. It goes on like this, right? Till last term. So T eight is thirty three, T nine is thirty five, T ten thirty seven, T eleven thirty nine, forty one. That will do five terms. Five terms. Gap of two to thirty one plus ten forty one. This is the whole basic meaning funda of the average. Very important. Very important funda. Okay. Now we'll do a good question based on this concept. Just focus on this question. Okay. Average of one forty three consecutive odd integers is p. Find the average uh, and the average of last sixty seven terms is n. Find p in terms of n. Correct. Okay. Now just get this question here. 
there are average of series right average of 143 consecutive odd integers okay in um consecutive odd integers obviously right it should be given that it is in ascending order okay market okay the concept is important here so see t1 t2 so i can write like this make a whole series here okay so t1 t2 t3 till t143 there are 143 terms so average of 143 consecutive odd integers is p what is the average of 143 consecutive consecutive odd integers first term what is their average since it is this series is in ap why it is ap because there are consecutive odd integers so gap will be always 2 2 2 like 7 9 11 13 so gap is of 2 2 2 2 so it is in ap so in ap what is the average in ap average is the middle term in ap average is the middle term and middle term is calculated as first term plus last term by 2 first term is t1 last term is t143 So one plus one forty three one forty four by two seventy two. So this is set T seventy two. To T seventy two is the average. This we need. This is given as P. This is given as P. Okay. Now the average of last sixty seven terms is is n. This is here is n. Okay. So average of last sixty seven terms is n. So what is last sixty seven terms? One forty three minus sixty seven is seventy six. So it should start from t sixty sorry t seventy seven one forty three minus sixty seven is seventy six. So it should start it should start with t sixty or sorry t seventy seven t seventy seven. Now see this is important here and we have done this so many times in whole quant. This counting right we have to count numbers ten to twenty how many numbers? So including both the numbers right including both the numbers. Always, how many numbers? Difference plus one. Always, difference plus one plus one. Because difference, when you take difference between two numbers, one of the number is automatically excluded, right? So, like ten minus eight, two. So, out of one to ten, you subtract one to eight, right? So, nine and ten, two numbers are left. So, either ten minus eight, either ten will be included or eight will be included. One there will be included, and either ten will be excluded or ex eight will be excluded. One of them will be excluded, right? Difference between between one and thirty-one. Like first day of month is one, and suppose last day of month is thirty-one. How many difference? Thirty days. So if you exclude both one and thirty-one, diff it will be twenty-nine days. If you include both one and thirty-one, it will be thirty-one days. But difference of one and thirty-one is how much? Thirty. That means either of the day is included, right? Either of the day is included. Any one. Okay. So ten to twenty. How many numbers? Difference plus one. Ten plus one. Eleven numbers. Not ten numbers, right? Seventy-three to, let's say one sixty. How many numbers? All the difference plus one. What is difference here? Eighty-seven plus one. Total eighty-eight numbers, right? So that's why one forty-three. So one forty-three minus we have to calculate last sixty-seven terms. So one forty-three minus seventy-seven six seventy six minus sixty-seven seventy-six. So don't take from seventy-six. Take from seventy-seven because if you take seventy-six. Seventy six to one forty three. How many terms? Seventy six to one forty three. How many terms? Difference plus one. Sixty seven plus one. Sixty eight terms. Right. Sixty eight terms. Right. This is wrong. I have to calculate sixty seven terms. Okay. That's why starting from seventy seven. So T seventy seven to T one forty three. Now see this series. I can treat like as a separate AP. It is a separate AP. Right. Because again, T seventy seven to T one forty three. Again, its difference is of two to two only, right? All these are sixty-seven terms here. All these sixty-seven terms, difference of two to two. What is the average? What is the average? So average is what? Average is the middle term. What is the middle term? First term plus last term by two. So one forty-three plus seventy-seven by two. That is hundred and ten. Hundred and ten. So T hundred ten is the average, and this is given as n. This is given as n, right? This is the whole concept now. So average of this whole series is p. So whole series has got one forty three terms. What is the average? First term plus last term by two. One plus one forty three, one forty four by two, seventy two. So t seventy two is the average of these terms. Okay. So if this is the average, this is given as p. Now, average of last sixty seven sixty seven terms is n. 
सो वन फोर्टी थ्री इज द लास्ट टर्म माइनस सेवेंटी सेवन सॉरी माइनस सिक्सटी सेवन इज टी सेवेंटी सिक्स सो स्टार्ट फ्रॉम टी सेवेंटी सेवन ओके सो फ्रॉम टी सेवेंटी सेवन टू टी वन फोर्टी थ्री देर आर सिक्सटी सेवन टर्म्स वट इज आर एवरेज अगेन मिडिल टर्म बिकॉज इट इज इट इज ऑल्सो एन ए पी ओके गैप ऑफ टू 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 सो फॉर अगेन फर्स्ट टर्म प्लस लास्ट टर्म बाई टू वन फोर्टी थ्री प्लस सेवेंटी सेवन टू ट्वेंटी बाई टू हंड्रेड टेन सो हंड्रेड टेन टी हंड्रेड टेन इज द एवरेज गिवेन एज एन so i need to find i need to find p in terms of n which i can easily do now because i know that if t11 it is see if t110 is n then t109 will be how much n minus 2 what is t108 t108 will be how much n minus 4 that means i am going if, if i go one term back difference is of minus 2 right minus 2 another one term back difference of minus 2 further okay because there are odd consecutive integers in ascending order given ascending order so minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 right every term so t110 to 2 t72 how many terms i have to go back i have to go back 38 terms each term decreases by minus 2 each term difference is minus 2 so 38 into minus 2 is 76 so p is equal to n minus 76 therefore therefore this is the answer right this is the answer therefore p is equal to n minus seventy six. This is the answer for this question. Right. This hundred and tenth term is n. I need to find seventy second term. That difference is of thirty eight terms. Each term going back by minus two because consecutive odd integers. So going back minus two, minus two, minus two, thirty eight terms. Thirty eight into minus two seventy six. So it is n. This is n minus seventy six. So p is equal to n minus seventy six. Right. A very important question. Super important question and very good concept also right i hope you got it okay now next one next one 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 now this is the average right average i need to get what is the average here so average is this now should be easy right this is in ap this series is in ap so when this series is in ap what is the average first term plus last term by 2 so 1 plus 167 by 2 that is simply how much 84 so it is the answer in ap The average is always the middle term. Okay, middle term is cal calculated as first term plus last term by two. First term plus last term by two. Okay. Okay, this is easy, very easy. Next question. Okay, ah, uh, this question we'll do in next video. So, good question. We'll start next video with this question only. Okay, thank you.